There's a new house on the market in Santa Clara, California, which is in Northern California, San Jose area. It'll cost you more than $1.5 million to buy it. And it does come with a surprising and novel addition. According to the Washington Post, as recently as March, the previous owner of this home allegedly used the home's garage as a methamphetamine lab. Now, Keller Williams Realty Realty's listing for the San Jose house notes that the home, which is considered contaminated, still contains the inactive lab. A spokesman for Santa Clara County's health department said in a statement that no one can enter the house until it is decontaminated. So do you guys get get what that means? If you are considering buying that home, you are not able to see what's inside because it is contaminated. In fact, if you try to see what's inside, the county will fine you a whopping $5,000. But it gets better. So the six bedroom, four bathroom house, which is 2,743 square feet, is now boarded and surrounded by a metal fence. I looked up the listing and we do have images of it. Here's what the outside looks like. You'll see the sign that says materials have been seized at this location that are consistent with the manufacturing and or use of methamphetamine. Hazardous substances, toxic chemicals or hazardous waste products may have been present and remain on or inside this property. And the outside of the property looks like this. Okay, great. So the home will be turned over to the buyer in its current state. They're not able to look inside, it is contaminated. And nothing will be done to fix that situation before the seller closes, okay? And if you're wondering what the $1.5 million will buy you, not only will it buy you that problem, it'll also buy you an additional cost of hundreds of thousands of dollars to do remediation, to decontaminate the home. So John Pagliosati, a real estate consultant based in Newport Beach, California, says that meth residue could still be in the air conditioning and heating system inside the walls or on the lawn. He estimates that the cleaning process could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and take months. He's quoted as saying, you're not going to walk in and move your family in and say, okay, we're good to go. So you literally have to go through that whole process, which is costly. Uh, before you can even enter the home, all right? And John is right, by the way. So the Department of Environmental Health website says homeowners must hire a certified hygienist and contractor to clean properties contaminated by meth. The website also states that anyone who enters an unsafe house can be fined up to $5,000, meaning the buyer would have to purchase the San Jose home without touring it. Now I wanna get to the previous owner and why he was arrested in just a moment. Because in California, you're not gonna get arrested for simply running a meth lab out of your home or your RV. I mean it, that is 100% true, but before we get to that, Jake. Yeah, I just have one comment for now. That house is still worth one and a half million dollars. That's how insane housing prices in California are. So they're like, look, you can see the house, it's all boarded up. It's got meth contamination, let alone potential bombs we're gonna tell you about in a minute. And it's still worth one and a half million dollars. So, gee, I wonder why there's more homeless people. I wonder why people are leaving California. I wonder why millennials and Gen Z are disaffected and still staying home with their moms. How the hell can anybody afford a house? Like even if you want a meth house, it still costs you a million and a half dollars. So the housing prices here are out of control. I mean, it's definitely out of control all across the country. But yes, especially in places like California, it's just unattainable. And look, higher interest rates has made the housing market far worse. Because a lot of people were under the assumption that higher interest rates mean that people looking to sell their homes are gonna have to lower prices. But people are unwilling to move out of their homes when they already have a fantastic mortgage that has like a 2.8% interest rate. So it has taken a situation in which there's low inventory for potential buyers and made it far worse, okay? So there's that. But now let's get to the previous owner of the home, the guy who ran the meth lab. Because again, I was shocked to find that he was in prison. Like really, he's in prison for running a meth lab? 
I mean, people literally smoke meth openly on our metro system in LA and nothing happens. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm not even kidding, it is true. But here's what actually happened. The Washington Post piece left all of this amazing information out of their reporting. So the guy in question is Peter Karasev, 36 year old. So while searching Peter Karasev's house, detectives discovered a meth lab and meth in the garage according to a complaint by the Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office filed against him in March. So Karasev apparently told a detective that he used meth to replace Adderall because of an Adderall shortage. He's just a humanitarian looking out for other people, that's all. Come on, guy, come on. But it turns out he wasn't actually arrested for the meth lab. He was arrested because he um, he does other things like uh, blow up PG&E transformers around the San Jose, California area. <laughs> Mess a hell of a drug. <laughs> don't, don't dip into your own supply. Why? Don't Why do meth. You? Don't do meth. Don't do meth, yeah. it's not worth it. Yeah, okay. Nancy Reagan was right about this one. <laughs> just, just say no when it comes to meth and fentanyl, right? And uh, I can't believe they got caught Jesse Pinkman like this. <gasps> you know, he's, you know what he's going to need? Not a criminal lawyer, but a criminal lawyer. Mm -hmm, better call Saul. <laughs> yeah. All right, so more details. Investigators said Karasev planted multiple bombs targeting infrastructure around San Jose, including when he blew up PG&E transformers in December and January. He was recorded on surveillance cameras riding on a bicycle to and from the bomb sites, police said. So investigators, this is like terrible, felt awful about this part. So investigators discovered that his one year old baby, three year old daughter and five year old son were living in a home riddled with extreme hazards. According to court documents, police found chemicals, drugs, firearms within easy reach of the children. They also found bomb making materials. Prosecutors charged Karasev with three counts of child endangerment, arson, igniting a destructive device with intent to injure or intimidate, interfering with electrical lines, and possessing materials with the intent to make an explosive device. In other words, I was right, he did not face any charges for running a meth lab out of his home. <laughs> yeah, so that's another angle to the story, but one more thing. I think the reason that they won't let anybody go in the house is not because of the meth, but because of the bombs. And my guess is that whoever, whichever department was in charge or number of departments that were in charge said, I'm not going in there. This guy made bombs all the time. So you think I'm gonna go in there and find out, Oh, meth, contamination in the air conditioning. So we're not going in. So buyer beware on this one. But having said all that, I bet the price goes up now. I down. know, there's probably gonna be a bidding yeah. war. Yeah, you know why? Because now the house is a little bit famous. So it's got more media attention, so more people will go and check it out. And then they'll get competitive and they'll be like, well, so what? Well, you know, we're, it's Northern California. The house is probably worth way more than a million and a half. We'll just, the property is worth more. We'll just tear down that, build a new house, spend a million dollars, and we'll have a house for two and a half million dollars, and it'll still probably make more money. Jesus Christ. Because these prices in, these, in, in housing is unbelievable. So that's my guess is it'll go higher, not lower. Just like the guy did. Yeah. Listen, Don't do math. I'm not, I'm not an expert on this, so I'm totally making this up and you shouldn't take anything I'm saying seriously starting now. I think it's the contamination thing, I think it's I would just find someone, a remediator that I can pay off to say that they remediated and move on with my life. Here's $20,000, okay? Uh. Let's call it a day, let me into my house, <laughs> that's what I would do. Yeah, I hear you, but yeah. uh, there's given the publicity around this, there's some chance they would catch you. So, and you know, if you were yeah. super rich and that would, that house was worth 15 million, they wouldn't catch you at all, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're middle class, that's when you get the most screwed in America. Oh, 100 percent, yeah. With this and by the way, stuff, if you're thinking yeah. a million and a half, what do you mean middle class? Oh yeah, in California, that's middle class. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Hey, thanks for watching that video. We really appreciate it, guys. And we appreciate it if you become members because that allows us to be independent, honest, progressive, all the things that you don't get from corporate media. And all of that is because of you guys. Hit the join button below and become one of us, become a young Turk.